cold out this morning. It's below zero, but not by much, I don't think. There's no wind and it's very pleasurable out here. I've got a beautiful sunrise and even off to the west, the sky is pink because it's reflecting. And plus I got the moon on the horizon too. Just gorgeous. The sky's reflecting the pink sun that's behind me. And I've got the moon on the horizon over there. So I got the moon in the west and the sun in the east behind me. It's really pretty. There's a jet going over, but aside from that, there's no human sounds and I like it. Such a contrast to the life I grew up into. In the morning, it's chaos. Everyone's rushing around, going to work, anxiety, dropping the kids off, this, that, and the other thing. Most people are rushing off to spend a day of doing something that they don't want to do, but they have to do. I've been there, done that. It's not the life I wanted to live, though. All my childhood reading the books about guys that lived in the woods and they had this wonderful life and that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, so glad. So glad I followed that path. Over here in the Beaver Lodge, you see the frost crystals. See? The heat coming out of the Beaver Lodge is all crystallizing. The mink's been running around on top of the Beaver Lodge. See that? Hard to see, but if you're observing enough, you can pick it out. Little mink over here checking out the beaver lodge. A lot of time muskrats will hole up inside a old lodge and the mink come to hunt them. Now that mink has been running around up here. I'm over here by the beaver lodge. You see the discoloration in the ice right there? That's a dangerous spot right there. You gotta be really careful when you're walking around a beaver lodge, especially around their food pile. Where they go in and out of their lodge, they're constantly stirring up that water so the water doesn't freeze as solid as the rest of the ice. You can be standing on 10 inches of ice with one foot and a half inch with another. I demonstrated that in a video a long time ago banging on the ice with my Get chisel. Ice there. Solid ice, solid ice, boom, Look at that. right through. That is what I'm talking Very about. Very dangerous. There's not much ice there at all. Holy smokes. Because here, I'm walking on thick ice. But you see that strip right there of colored ice, discolored ice. That's because their entrance to their lodge is right here. And they're going in and out, in and out, in and out. So the ice is not thick right there and I wouldn't want to walk right there. No, not this guy. He has food piles here. Cold day like this, I don't want to go through the ice. What is a lot of critter tracks in the road here? Wow. So I'm driving into the cabin and I see some disturbance in the cabin road here and some fur. I'm gonna go check it out. Bunny rabbit was killed here, like just, just recently. Whatever it was, was heavy enough to break the crust. There's quite a crust on the snow here, you see? It's making driving in here interesting. Looks like a coyote, yeah. See that? Coyote track. coyote. So he got the rabbit and he run off with it. Coyote got a little lunch. <laughs> See where he went in through there. <laughs> and, and stripping blood on the snow there. See that? You never know what you're gonna find out here. Man, it's cold here today. Cold. <laughs> What's that look? What is wrong with you? You look perplexed, mister. What's your problem? Hey, what's your problem? 
<laughs> you look perplexed. <laughs> hey, Frankie. Hey. Hey, Frankie. What's the matter? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> There's a porky up there. Hey, you porky mine, you. <laughs> yeah, uh, looking down on me. I found this little piece of hemlock on the ground here. That's what made me look up. I knew there was a porky trimming the tree. Yep. Anytime you see little pieces of hemlock like that laying on the ground, look up. Could be a porcupine up above. Here's a little bit more woods lore over here. We have a little bit of open water there, and a little bit trickling down in here. And you can see them. This is where a muskrat come out of here, and then went into there. The muskrat tracks will always have that tail drag mark. They got a long snake-like tail. Yeah, that's the hind foot right there. It is the red squirrel. See how small the foot pattern is. And it's always two in, two out. And then he, he's a weasel right next to it. See, you can see the little paw marks right there. So we have a weasel and the red squirrel. Here's some more mink tracks over here. See their pattern is the two, two and two, just like the weasel. They're just bigger. He's going in and out of the water here. See? The weasel doesn't go in the water like that. But they're built the same, same track pattern. Going in and out of tunnels here, hunting for stuff. See? See? Two track. And we got Frankie over here making a mess of himself. Hey. Think you're gonna sleep on the bunk? Hey. You think you're gonna sleep on my bunk now? Look at you, you've got your feet all muddy. The weasel and the mink and the otter and even the fisher, they have a similar track pattern it's as far as like the two tracks, two tracks, two tracks. Different sizes and characteristics to them, of course. And then you have the squirrels and the bunnies and they have the same track pattern with the two in and two out different sizes and characteristics to them as well. Winter's got a beauty to it though, you know. This was summertime, I'd be out here swatting that stuff, getting all impatient. Then I'd be pulling ticks off of me and Frankie. Just warm, you're all right. And I like seeing all the animal sign. I like to be able to identify it. Know what's going on, know the tracks, know the bird calls, stuff like that. Very enjoyable to me. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did and you'd like to see more of the cabin life, please click the subscribe button so that you can follow along with future updates. All the best to you, and God bless.